What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the site, well, you've come to the right place. So I've had the nastiest sore throat for the past two weeks, and I mean it was the mother of all sore throats, but I'm back in the field of battle and I'm marching to the front lines like some sort of G.I. Joe, and not a moment before time because it's going down right now. So Jaden, right, she's like a dumpster fire that you really hope gets put out, but it just rages on. You can't do nothing about it, right? It always seems like she's getting herself into something. It might take her a few weeks, maybe a few months, but time and time again, without fail, she keeps getting herself into petty drama. You almost feel like she does it on purpose, don't you? It was only two or three weeks ago we discussed how Jaden, during a Twitter thread, threatened to flag a smaller YouTuber known as Grimsy simply because he made a bunch of mean videos on her. This caused a lot of backlash, and you know, for good reason. I mean, you've got a 200k YouTube channel trying to boss around this tiny, doesn't even have 2,000 subs simply because he got under her skin. Not a good look, and people were quick to point out how a commentary channel who makes digs at other people can't handle it when people do the same to her. When Jaden realized that no one was taking her side, she quickly backed down, as, you know, she usually does, thus completing the Jaden cycle. And we all waited for it to start anew. And start anew, it did. A YouTuber named Lyrics made a video titled, Why I Don't Like Jaden, and it mostly went over, well, reasons he doesn't like Jaden. The contents of the video aren't anything special. It goes at length about Jaden's constant contradictions, how she'll say one thing and then do another. He also details the whole deal with threatening smaller YouTubers as well. He mostly just kind of debunks and criticizes Jaden's stances and actions. It's a good watch. I do recommend giving it a look if you want to know why the sentiment around Jaden is what it is, or if you're just looking for a good chuckle. What's important to note about this video is that it's actually pretty tame. Yes, he digs in deep at points, but it's really nothing that we don't already see from other people making other videos, right? So that should be it, right? Someone makes a video on Jaden, it racks up maybe a few thousand views, life goes on. Well, this is Jaden we're talking about. Lyrics made a tweet showing a comment Jaden left on his video. This is self-admission of Jalen being a flagger. Jesus, this dude is unhinged. So here's a picture of Jaden commenting on the video. This video violates the YouTube TOS. Good luck keeping your channel. And already, that kind of rubs me the wrong way. If you really feel hurt or offended by a video, then why are you acting so smug in the comments? Why are you celebrating that you think his video will get taken down? Um, this is a joke, right? Jalen was taken. I guess we can wait and see. It violates guidelines? How? The video is literally harassment and bullying. This is pretty funny. Someone asks Jaden to explain her stance, which considering how tame the video was, I think is entirely reasonable. She then proceeds to literally not prove anything at all. There's no evidence, no clips, no nothing. Overall, it's a straight repeat of what happened beforehand with Grimsy. It's like she learned nothing at all only adding fuel to the fire. Jaden released her flagging history on some discord, proving that she flagged several videos, including lyrics. So hard proof that Jaden actually flagged this video and many more. So yeah, this kind of set off waves. You have a video that it really ain't that bad at all, that it's just criticizing Jaden, and Jaden decides to flag it. What does that say about Jaden? Well, she can't take criticism. Oh, she can criticize other people, that's okay, but you can't do the same to her because she's sensitive, you guys. If you criticize her, that's harassment. Then it's crossing the line. Well, why'd you join a community that requires you to have thick skin? Yeah, you know what Jaden does when she sees a video that she don't like? She falsely flags it. It doesn't matter that it puts the channel, which the owner may have very well spent a year building up at risk. She just wants the video gone, no matter what. Needless to say, no one was on her side regarding this situation. Flagging on YouTube is already a taboo subject. Hell, a lot of people generally agree that even if a video goes quote unquote too far in terms of insults and harassment, you still shouldn't flag it. Because not only does it pretty much show everyone that you've got a set of thin skin on, but it just brings more attention to the video anyways. I mean seriously, it's the dry sand effect. Most of us have probably never heard of Grimsy or lyrics before this whole shebang, so yeah, that makes total sense. So, it feels like the entirety of Twitter is raining down on you. What do you do at that point? Well, if you're Jaden, you retreat to the echo chamber that is your YouTube channel. She released this video titled, I'm Done. In all honesty, there's very little of value here. I guess we'll react to a few segments here and there.
this app and everyone who uses this app is incredibly toxic. Twitter is honestly one of the worst social media platforms ever created. You know, it's funny that Jaden says all this because she's literally no different in that regard. Jaden is just as toxic as the rest of the Twitter community. You're lying if you think any different. So much drama and bullshit has come out of me using Twitter. I've tried to reason with the people who don't like me, but no matter what I do, it doesn't work. These people are never going to like me, which is why I'm done. I'm done with those people on Twitter. It's funny how Jaden tries to spin everything, right? She's trying to make it seem like people dog on her for absolutely no reason, when I mean, it's, it's pretty clear. She constantly starts drama by saying really over the top, just real crazy stuff, doubles down when people start to disagree with her and call her out on it. Then she apologizes and tries to garner sympathy for it all. She says she'll do better in the future, but a month later, we're doing the same thing again. To try and pass herself off as a victim is, and you know, I hate acting in bad faith here, but it's dishonest. Sure, some people might give you too much crap for what it's worth, but most people who criticized you have consistently done so with reason. Hell, I'd say you get off easier than most everyone else in the community. I'm done letting these toxic assholes on Twitter dictate what I say and do. I don't know how many times I've apologized for absolutely nothing. I'll make a joke and then they'll cancel me and I'll actually apologize for it. I'm done, okay? I'm okay, well, look, you clearly don't just get canceled over jokes and other tiny stuff. People mostly criticize you by pointing out the hypocrisy with like how you'll act all edgy and stuff one moment but cry like a child when someone is edgy towards you. And I mean threatening to flag someone's videos, I wouldn't call that just nothing, I'd say that's uh, that's a reason for people to raise an eyebrow. So, yeah, again, nothing much of substance here. She appeared on Shot from the Point, Tommy C's stream for a while, and really nothing much of note went on. Nothing that we won't address later down the line, at least. It's entertaining all the same, though. It's basically four minutes of Tommy trying to grill some reality into Jaden's head, and it all just goes straight through her skull. And now we come to Christmas Day. I just want to ask, what were you guys doing during Christmas? Spending time with family? Enjoying the holidays? Well, not Jaden. For whatever reason, she decided to make a video on the, the, the flagging incident. Like, I'm sorry, this is, it's sad. A lot of the video feels like excuses. It really feels like she's playing at sympathy for the first few minutes of the video. But yeah, we're gonna skip to what I actually give a damn about. And there was this leafy clone channel that was continuously making videos on me and my friends. And I thought that they were targeting us. So I said that I would report their videos for harassment. And this ended up receiving huge backlash from the commentary community. And I immediately regretted what I had said. I find it funny how, like, she says that she regrets what she says, but, you know, only after she got the backlash. I'm not gonna look too far into it, but I mean on a level I found it pretty funny. Now I didn't report this person, I didn't report their videos, I didn't do anything. It was just kind of an empty threat. But again, I wasn't able to handle all of this backlash and I tweeted out something really dark, something that wasn't okay, that I immediately deleted. This was up for a second, literally a second. I tweeted this and deleted it immediately. Well, one of these R group chat members somehow got a screenshot of this tweet before I deleted it and they ended up spamming my tweets over the the next few days with this tweet and it really sucked to be continuously harassed for days on end your idea of harassment is someone spamming you with a single tweet like am i missing something here like th that sounds like not bad at all like, there are worse things that can happen. Like, what am, I, what am I missing here? But then another one of these leafy clone channels released a video on me. And this user showed the tweet that the R group chat had been spamming me with for days. And that kind of brought back everything that I had been feeling days prior. All right, so tell me if I'm looking too far into this. But something just doesn't really sit right with me when he calls Lyrics a leafy clone. I mean, Grimsy, yeah, that guy is totally a leafy clone. But I mean, Lyrics, I don't know. I'm sure he could care less, but it feels like a way to kind of like discredit him as if to say yeah he has no originality he just rips off leafy which i don't even think is true his presentation and style is is pretty different from leafy overall i don't know where she gets this idea I don't know, to me it's just disingenuous. And so I once again threatened to report this person's video, except this time I actually went through with it. I reported their video because of this tweet that they showed in that video. Now to me, this wasn't a huge deal at all. Reporting videos isn't the same as like a copyright strike. I'm not breaking any laws whatsoever. Okay. Okay, there's a few things that really just ain't right with that. I mean, yes, you aren't breaking any laws. That doesn't matter though. 
What does matter is the intent. You didn't like what this guy had to say, and so you tried to silence him? That's what it was. Don't try to soften the blow, because we're all just gonna see through it. And it exists for anyone to report anything they don't like. You're wrong. You're wrong. You look straight up, you're just wrong. The flagging system ain't there for you to flag what you personally don't like. I have no idea where you got this idea from. It's flat out wrong. The flagging system exists to get inappropriate content, like... I don't know, something you find on Live Leak off the website. It doesn't exist to placate your feelings, you fink. Literally all this is, is a button. You just click it. Y you click two buttons, and that's how you report a YouTube video. That has nothing to do with anything. Oh, it's just a button. Yes, a button that could potentially ruin someone's big shot at making it on YouTube. It could ruin a career. It is a button that you're pressing with malicious intent. Like, what is this reasoning? Am I going crazy? Am I going nuts? Do they gotta take me to the funny farm and this video didn't even go down because youtube decided that it didn't break the guidelines and rightfully so i have no idea what you're trying to reason here with this whole well the video didn't go down so it's no biggie Again, it is the intent. You can't just try to get a video off of the platform and try to backtrack your motives when YouTube disregards it. But the commentary community didn't like this at all. I faced so much backlash and it felt like I was back in the same spot as I was a few months ago. I mean, because you are. You constantly do dumb stuff like this. You've never left that spot. You've built yourself your glass home to which you throw stones from, from that spot. Even Frank Castle, the guy who harassed Boogie, jumped in on this. So I kind of made like a joke response to him that everyone took seriously. Basically, anytime people would call him out for harassing, showing up to Boogie's house and threatening to our Boogie, he would use the fact that he's a veteran as a shield to harass people. Like that is some sort of excuse for his horrible actions. So I made a tweet saying that he deserved to in the Middle East. And people kind of took this as another sensitive society moment. Oh, everyone took that tweet seriously. All right, let's see the response. Okay, tweet from Turkey Tom. Imagine crying to YouTube about people making videos about you because you are a false flagger and then disrespecting a seasoned veteran like Frank Hassel YT. The disrespect is on another level. What? The <laughs> what? This is obviously a joke tweet. This is so obviously a joke tweet. Tom is not signing with anyone. I'm baffled at this. Truly, I am. Like... You can see it with your own eyes. Like, it's, it's so clearly a joke. But yeah, that's really everything in the video I really care about. Maybe I left out some crucial deeds or whatever. I could care less. I've got bigger fish to fry. If you really care, you can watch the video for yourself. Form your own opinion, I guess. All this hubbub culminated in a one-on-one -on -one debate between Lyrics and Jaden on the RFC After Hours. Moderated by Augie RFC himself. I'm sure this is a show that needs no introductions. I mean, you probably know who Augie RFC is. Like, I'm, like this channel probably has a lot of crossover. But I want to make one thing clear. This was not a debate. It was a massacre. I like to ride my tight ship here, so we're going to be cutting out most of the debate. But seriously, I encourage you to watch it for yourself. As for me, I'll be playing what I consider to be its best hits. But also, recently, like, you've been flip-flopping with this drama for, like, quite some time now. First, you said you flagged it because the video was bullying and harassing you. Then it was apparently because I have a history of harassing you when I've made a total of like three fucking videos on you ever. And then in Tommy C's chat, you claimed it was because I said slurs in my video, which none of them were directed at you or insulting you. And now apparently it's because I showed a fucking public tweet of yours. So let's hear it. Well, what's the real fucking reason, Jalen? All of the above, I guess. I don't know. God, there's just something about that, that bit of awkward silence and Jaden finally mustering that, just all of the above, I guess. Which is a pretty bad start because it, it just kind of implies that even she doesn't know why she did it. You'd think this would be like at the top of her like mental outline, right? I don't know. I just flagged the video, okay? That's, that's about it. Yeah, I really, I don't know why she keeps going back to that, like, argument, like, oh, all I did was flag the video, it's no big deal. Um, it, it's a mechanic that's used to take videos off the platform, wipe them from the face of the earth, you know, just nuke them, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a pretty big freaking deal. All of the above, you gotta pick fucking one, because you uh, flagged it for harassment and bullying, right? Due to that tweet. That's the reason. Due to the it. tweet. Okay. So, you dropped a public fucking tweet, I screenshotted it, and I put it in my video and read it out loud. How the fuck is that harassment and bullying? 
Well, obviously it isn't, because your video wasn't taken down. Okay, so, side stepping the question, basically. Like, you reported the video for a reason, and you're not even gonna bother justifying it? You're just, you're just gonna go and give some nonsense answer like, Well, I guess it wasn't harassment because YouTube didn't think it was harass- Am I on a fever dream? Like, what am I watching here? What, what happens, it largely doesn't matter, right? You- Is it fair to say that you had intent to take the video down? No, I knew the video no? wasn't one. I knew the video wouldn't go down. Well, a few screenshots say otherwise, but we'll ignore that. Okay, here, here, here. Let me ask you a first question because you said all of the above. So, do I have a history of harassing you? Yes or no? I'd say you do. Yes. Okay, explain why. Epic. Oh my god, Th this is sad, it's just sad, like, this is a question that, like, like, if I was in Jaden's place, right, this would literally be a top priority for me to answer. It, it, it's definitely the most, or you know, one of the most important questions, you know, in this whole, like, debacle, right? But when it gets asked, like, she just, she just goes silent. I think it speaks for itself, man. Um, well, I'd say the main thing that he did was, for no reason, right, <clears throat> our drama was completely done. He joined in on a toxic distress video, and he, it, he had this great criticism for me, and this was one of the, like, most horrid things I've ever heard. And it was so bad that this clip had to be removed from that video. And what did I say in that clip? I'm not gonna uh, repeat it. I know it, what he's talking about. But you know what Okay, so I, so I said that you're a femboy, you wear skirts to school, and that you should get fucked by a dude because you have a custom-built pussy now. And I was telling you to suck my cock, too. That's the big <laughs> harassment. That's the fucking crime that I have done. No, that, that might sound bad, but keep in mind, Jaden has said so much worse on Twitter. Like, you know, jokingly advocating for the genocide of religious people. Again, you can't really complain that people say mean stuff about you over the internet when you're just as bad. You know, don't go on this, oh my god, this is this is the most horrid stuff I've ever heard. Like, you want your cake, and you want to eat it too, right? Like, th th that's just not gonna work here. So if you're a fan of that type of content before, which did, I mean... Look, okay, by, look, by, in all honesty, yeah. I just said a bunch of, like, bullshit, okay? That's the truth. I don't even, like, I don't stand by anything I've said in the past. What do I even say here? Like seven minutes in and she chokes so hard that she completely backtracks on everything. You know, it, it, it really is something, isn't it? She makes a big stink about flagging someone, she defends it vehemently for weeks, and now she's just trying to say, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, it was all bull crap. I am, honest to God, speechless. Like, it was oh, all okay. just in the moment. Understandable. Like, you know what, you know, in all honesty, I don't care, alright? I shouldn't have flagged your video that was stupid in the first place, but I have to, like, defend it. I, like, have no choice but to defend me flagging your video. What? No, you don't. You can just admit that you were wrong. As soon as you realize, oh, maybe I might not look so good in this situation, you can just say, well, I guess I was wrong. You know, sure, y y you're still gonna make a lot of people angry, but I mean, it would show that, well, you can admit that you're wrong. You could put a lid on this whole thing. Instead, you just kind of make it go on for longer than it really has to, and you're just gonna make people more upset. But yeah, that's all I can really say about the debate. I'm sorry, I'm running low on time here, folks. Again, tight shit. But yeah, overall, it was a very crusty debate. I mean, she, she just kind of like brings up a bunch of points only to immediately walk them back. It's a crusty debate. Um, I, I, I really recommend that you watch it. So yeah, honestly, I'm just really not sure how to feel about Jaden anymore. Like, in the past, I feel like you could, like, I feel like you could cut her some slack, right? Sure, she said some dumb stuff. I mean, they're just words, they don't really have any impact. But now she's kind of flagging people, and, and like, sure, she said, she does say in the debate that she won't flag any more people, which, okay, that's good, I guess. But, like, it, it, it just doesn't set a very good precedent, you know what I'm saying? People kind of have a reason to kind of be against her, because she's doing stuff that could vary well contribute to you know someone maybe very well losing their channel and at this point like we, we've kind of been through the cycle a lot you know you know Jaden does something stupid she'll double down people call her out she apologizes plays for sympathy says she won't do it again and you know we're doing the same thing again like I don't know I don't like saying this kind of stuff but like maybe Jaden's just not like man for YouTube and I, I don't like saying that because it's obvious you no know, she she put a lot of you know, work and time into you know making her channel you know perfecting her craft I guess you know even if I don't really like her content like at all obviously this ain't good for her mental health and you know she, it's just gonna lead to a lot of people just not liking her I guess I, like I don't know maybe this 
ain't, you know, what she should be doing. I feel bad for saying that, because, I mean, the way she talks about it, like, YouTube's all she's really got, but, I mean, I don't know, it, it just seems like it's doing more harm than good. Overall, I mean, I, I wish Jaden, you know, the best of luck, but it's just gonna be pretty hard to, you know, really have any sympathy for her after this. I, I, again, I want the best, I, I really do want the best for her. I know I kind of played it up in this video, but I, I genuinely want to see her get better. I, I genuinely don't like seeing this kind of stuff go down. But, ah, uh, Jesus, man. I really don't know what to say at this point. I think I've really said everything I want to say. So that's really all I've got for this shtick. Now, do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.